Hi everybody, Nick Jeffries here, New Projects. And um, today, uh, Saturday, 1 p.m. I'm just chilling out at home with the family, listening to loads of stuff on YouTube and uh, watching the news about the coronavirus. Now, last week, it wasn't a concern. I thought, do you know what? It's a load of hot air. It's media spin, spinning a load of lies, creating another news story. You know, we've got Brexit out of the way. Let's create something else. Um, but I've been listening. I've been watching lots of professionals on um, YouTube discussing the virus, what they think is going to happen, what's going to happen in the next two, three, four, five months. And to be honest, it's worrying. Maybe not so worried for myself, but worried for my mum, people of my mum's age, you know, 70s, 80s, 90 year old people. These people aren't gonna survive this um, virus unless, you know, they're very, very prepared. And, um, you know, with God willing, you know, a bit of luck as well. You know, the, just the viruses we get each year, every winter, you know, the common flu, colds. These are hard for people in their 80s and 90s. But let alone this coronavirus, I don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying. You know, um, yesterday in uh, the office... I was there with a couple of members of staff, two or three people are off, and it was quiet. You know, the roads are quiet, no one phoning up. It's just worrying. Um, I had a meeting uh, with a client in the evening yesterday. That's all we were talking about. I, you know, I took a bottle of wine around there, we had a chat, sat around the table discussing, you know, what the hell is going to happen. You know, we all got our own worries and concerns. But, you know, one thing we all need to do is stay positive and focused and try and carry on our lives as normal as possible. And um, not to panic. You know, I went shopping this morning. I went to Morrison's to buy some uh, bits for the house. There was hundreds of people in there. Their trolleys full of food which then makes me feel, well, I need to buy some stuff. You know, so my trolley was full up, you know, with stuff to put in the freezer, you know, which we can go to just for an emergency. But I don't know. What's that going to happen next week? You know, we've got lots of projects on the go. Um, that's, they're not, hopefully they're not going to be affected. The boys are strong, young, fit men, um, on site working very hard. We've got a number of projects about to start. You know, are the owners worried? Have they got concerns? Are they gonna pull out the deal? Who knows? Um, you know, these, these um, uh, clients are international, some from China. So, you know, we've got lots of little things to think about. What is gonna happen next week, next month, next year? Will this virus come back next year? You know, they're saying, um, I watch Brian Rose, London Reels, Reels um, uh, uh, YouTube video this morning, which he um, put up across his um, concerns and, you know, thoughts about the coronavirus. And do you know what? I think he's spot on. We are all going to get this virus. There's no escaping it, but the antibodies will fight the virus and the strong will survive and the weak and the elderly may get hit hard. So, God willing, everything goes okay for us. And, um, you know, I am worried. As I said last week, I wasn't. This week, I am worried. 
you know, all my mentors, you know, people I follow on social media, Grant Cardone, Gary V, you know, and a few other people, they're all worried, they're all concerned, all with their families, all trying to be positive and um, send out uh, motivational messages for other people in distress situations. That's, we're all it together. We're all on this planet together. So let's keep positive. Let's uh, keep our kids at school. There's no point of bringing the kids home from school because in this virus, children aren't getting ill. So the children, if they are carrying the virus, they come home to mum, dad, granddad's, grandpa's, grandma's, and they carry it. So they need to stay at school. The teachers need to stay at school. The, um, you know, the kids' parents, they don't need to come, you know, they may be uh, doctors, nurses, policemen, firemen. They can't afford to come home and look after the kids. So let's just keep everyone doing their normal day-to-day uh, -day life. And um, let's take day by day. And fingers crossed, somehow we all come out of this stronger, united, and... Um, yeah, let's just go for it. OK, um, have a good afternoon and um, let's get ready for a new week next week. See ya. Bye.